Mm. Like it isolates little ball. It's like it's like sort of like water droplets or like things that splash and then are ferrofluids and these little pieces come off and then come back in. And maybe when we die, we go back into the big field and then we mm. rearrange another. You know, yeah, like a sort of glo a little sort of globule of liquid returning to the main yeah, body. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I mean, that, that I mean, that sounds like um, well, you mentioned the Upanishads, you know, a couple of hours ago now because mm -hmm. we've been at this a couple of hours. Yeah, um, it's amazing. And you know, that offers up a sort of idealist. Um, yeah, there's an element of idealism. You know. I think that if you go for far enough into logical part of positivism, that you come out at idealism. So really, that, I mean, that's yeah. I mean, that that, that that doesn't. I mean, that sounds crazy because that, that, you know, in a way, the logical positivists will but say, "No, see, let's like wipe, we're about wipe all the metaphysical, metaphysical questions off the table." And right. you're saying then, that actually it leads to idealism. You're saying it leads to idealism. <laughs> yes, because they become louder and louder the more you refuse to look at them. Suddenly, like it's like. What is all? If I only talk about it this way, like most of reality is missing. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of yeah, flows yeah, into the, yeah, the the reality that we can actually relate to is is not yeah. there. <laughs> like or like, where is the Buddha fa nature found? Nowhere, or you know, or sort of dog poo in mm. the grass, or whatever the answer is with the koan, depending on your teacher. But mm. like, um, it, it, like so that there's the tradition of that that Cohen where you don't like there is no Buddha nature and then you giggle mm. and then you kind of feel the Buddha nature when you say that um, that's called via negativa in the Catholic tradition mm. so via negativa is the idea that you talk about what God is not and you keep talking about it and you keep talking about <laughs> it until what it is sort of comes in into the negative space of the negative <laughs> mm. <laughs> and I think that that's why so maybe many that's dark matter that's dark matter <laughs> yeah 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 it's sort of like you just go so far into it that what isn't there becomes apparent to you as a negative image of that. Mm. The absent. Oh my God. The yeah. non -X, The non X. The non non becomes a thing. The not the non X. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, crazy. <laughs> it's wild. So I think that that's why you see a lot of people who have a journey. Like M. Scott Peck talked about, like how everyone is an atheist for a while if you're on this journey, and then then you see God eventually when, in your atheist phase. And the, so I was an atheist when I was nine. <laughs> When I was nine years old, I was like, my mom, I was, I'd go on my back porch. I'm like, God, show up. And God didn't show up. You know, he didn't talk to me. So I'm going to my mom and I'm like, there's no God. I'm an atheist now. And she's like, that's nice, dude. <laughs> she's, she's a very strong believer. But she's just like, it's nice. That's people. nice, dude. It's, like, it's okay. <laughs> it's just, you know, I believe in God. I think he'll come around. But, you know, but, but it's really nice and accepting, which was funny because, like, she comes from this very religious family. So it was really funny. But, but I'll be think back next week as, a, as a, a pantheist or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So 